everyone, so I'm back with another elf haul. I did one of these a few months ago, or a month ago, or I think it was a few months ago, and everyone seemed to really enjoy it, so I've got a few more things that I wanted to show you that I got recently. Um, yeah, so they, these are all different things, so if you like elf, then I hope you like these products. A lot of people say to me, where do you get your elf cosmetics from? And as far as I know, in the UK, you can only get them from the website. You can only order them online from www.eyeslipsface.co.uk or .com. I'll put the link down there so you can um, go to it. But yeah, if you're in the UK, you can only get it online. But it, it usually arrives pretty quickly. I mean, my first few orders, I ordered them one day and they came like the next day or the day after. So if you want to see what I got, then keep watching. Okay, so two things that I thought were really interesting, and they've been out of stock for a while, but I really wanted to get them, was the Elf Daily Brush Cleaner and the Elf Brush Shampoo. They look like this. I think they look really good, really professional. This one is, like I said, the Daily Brush Cleaner. When I first unwrapped this, it smelt really weird. The top bit has a wrapper on it, and it smelt disgusting. I don't know why, if that was just my one, or something was wrong with it or I don't know but I've cleaned all the top and stuff and sprayed it and it smells fine now um, and like under here smelt weird it smells fine now maybe it was just the packaging or something like that it just smells very um, clean really and this was I believe £3.50 same as the brush shampoo so I don't know if you can really see that but you probably can't see it but this is a much thicker consistency so imagine this is kind of like a spritz of water and this is more like a shampoo like a gel so you can really properly clean it, clean it with these and they're both antibacterial this was £3.50 this was £3.50 so um, I haven't really used them too much yet but I'm looking forward to using them and they like I said they look really nice so that's those um, so they're just a bit of a cheap alternative to like maybe um, Max brush shampoo and things like that so yeah that's that then I got a couple of brushes I got um, the elf concealer brush and I didn't realize I already had this brush for some stupid reason I bought it again thinking I was buying one I didn't have but I really like these brushes they're just like a round tipped brush and then I got the angled foundation brush which is a brush again I don't really use because I don't really like putting on liquid foundation especially in the um, summer but it's really really soft so I think it would give quite a good coverage to the face um, but these were £3.50 each they, these are the studio line collection they also have brushes for £1.50 each so you can have a look at those as well Elf's just brilliant I really love their website there's a few like flaws which I'll go over but these are really good Okay, so then I got some e.l.f. Professional Blending Wedges. They look like this. I don't know if you can see them probably. I'll take the lid off. Basically, it's just a round um, sponge, which has been cut into eight sections. So you can take these out, and it's just very hygienic if you want to put your foundation on with these. And then you can just dispose of them after you've used, like, maybe one side, the other side. There's all the different sides, obviously, so you can use them more than once. These cost, were they £1.50 or £3.50? I think they were £1.50, yeah, I think they were actually. I've had these before from um, Primark and stuff, like little blending type sponges, and they smell really horrible. I don't know what it is about smells today, but they just smell really weird. These don't smell at all, so that's good. So yeah, I really like the, those, really good for £1.50, and they just come in this round little pot. Then I've got a couple of repurchases, um, and these were because I lost them. <laughs> they were in my bag, and then they weren't in my bag, um, and they completely disappeared. So I think I must have dropped them one day or one night or something. Um, but they're these two products, and this is the um, Tone Correcting Concealer, which is really nice. This one is in Apricot Beige, which is one of the lighter ones. Looks like that has the little doe for applicator and yeah it just I just use it to conceal red redness and things like that so I like that product £1.50 from their basic kind of range and then something which I loved last time and I lost um, is the Elf Therapeutic Conditioning Balm it's just like a lip balm my one looks a bit weird now and 
this one's in, I want to call it strawberry cream. I know it's strawberry, but I can't remember the exact name if that's not right. It just comes in this little um, applicator, and then you just put it on. It's like the softest lip balm I've ever felt in my life. And I was so sad when I lost it, but I have it again now. Um, the only thing with these, they're they don't go back down when you twist them, so you then have to push them down. I also got the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. Now, um, this was out of stock for quite a while, and I really wanted to try it. So, basically, it's a powder puff. It looks like that, and then you get the product from the top, and it's all in here. Then you just put the powder puff on, and then you put it over your makeup. Now, I was a bit worried that it was going to come out white, so it's going to make your face look really pale. But... I mean, you dab it on, you can kind of see it there. And then if you just slightly rub it into your face, then it doesn't look white at all. So that's that. Um, has it got a description on it? No, it hasn't. But basically what it's supposed to do is um, make your face look really flawless. And if you're taking photos or video or anything like that, so it's really good if you make YouTube videos or you take a lot of photos, it's supposed to make your face look really flawless and photo ready. Um, but it also says you can just use it for daily wear as well if you really want to get like really nice flawless looking skin. So I'm interested to try this more. Um, was this £5 or £3.50? I can't remember how much this was but I'll put all the links and prices and things in the down bar. So that's that. And finally, this isn't the biggest haul, but finally onto some lip products. I'm really loving their lip products. So first of all, I got two Luscious Liquid Lipsticks. They look like this. Now, this was what I was talking about earlier with the slight problems with their website because a lot of people have said this, but the colours aren't right at all. Um, and you can order something and it comes in a completely different colour and you're like, I didn't order that colour but that's the colour it is. So it's a bit misleading. Um, I think they're working on that, I'm not sure. Hopefully they are though because I know a lot of people have said that's a problem. But basically this one is Baby Lips. It's a really pretty soft pink colour. Pretty much perfect from the website. Now I'm complaining about it. This one is actually right. It's just a really pretty light pink colour. And you just twist it up and the product comes out the top here. I don't want to get too close to the camera because it keeps making it go really dark. But yeah, it's really nice. A bit sticky. These Luscious Lipstick ones smell of mint. Um, but there's other lip glosses and they smell of um, cotton candy I think. And there's a grape flavoured one as well. So look at the scents as well because they all smell. Mint's not my favourite thing from my lips because it feels all tingly and stuff. But I can cope with this. It's not too bad. It's a really nice colour. And then this one is Raspberry. This one looked a lot lighter on the website, but I guess if you look at it, it is kind of a raspberry colour. It's just a kind of dark pink. It is really pretty. Um, and I think I will use it. I'm just going to swatch both of these for you. So this one comes out really, really good. Um, almost like it says, um, a liquid lipstick. The... Um, What's this one called again? Baby Lips one is a bit lighter, more like a lip gloss. So if you look at those, that one's obviously raspberry and that one's Baby Lips. So it's really nice and bright and it's very shiny and shimmery as well. So that's those. And then two lipsticks. These are from the Mineral Collection and I really love them and I want to get more of them. But again, I'm not sure which ones to go for because the pictures aren't very... Um, clear. So I'll show you the one first of all that I'm not too happy with. This one's Pouty Petal and if you go on the website and check out Pouty Petal it's not that colour. On the camera that's actually coming out as a really gorgeous colour and it's, it is a really pretty colour but it's a kind of orangey pink in real life um, which is a nice colour but not the colour that it states on the website. They're also very very sheer um, but they're very moisturising I find, this one especially is very moisturising so that's what Pouty Petal looks like then this one, this one's got a kind of a different consistency it's more um, um, pigmented and it's exactly my kind of colour that I like this one is called Runway Pink 
looks like that. It's just a really pretty light pink. It's still not the same colour as on the website, but it's really nice. Um, and like I said, it's a bit more buildable. They're actually not that different when you put them together like that. But yeah. The one at the top, that's runway pink. And the bottom one's pouty petal. So if you've got any recommendations for me of the lighter colours um, and ones you've found that, have, uh, that are true to the colour maybe or just ones that you really like then let me know because I really do love these products. These are £3.50 and these are £1.50 so yeah really good value for, for both and the mineral ones are really good as well, all their mineral products. Um, so yeah that's everything that I got, um, hope you like this video. Um, and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.